Let's just do the second. Okay. Okay. So everything's working. Um, I'm just going to listen to the audio real quick, see what it sounds like. That's odd. For some reason, I can't actually hear it. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Huh, that's odd. I can't. It should be working. Maybe I can't hear it now because I'm using the I don't know, let me try uh, listening to something else really quick. Uh, one sec, guys. Hey, if you're coming in the chat right now, can you, can you guys hear me? Um, hello? Um, let me just see. Okay, well, I know this is audio, I can't hear it. Um, but, okay, so I did blast or something on my end to where I can't hear. Uh, okay, um, one sec, you guys might. I'm gonna mute myself quick and then I am going to see if I can hear this. Okay, and we are switching mics because that one sounds like that. Okay, and we are scratch. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay, uh, I think that might have been looking at that. Okay, does that sound okay, guys? Or give me a sec. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm not using the mic. I think that sounds better, right? Does this sound alright? Okay. So what I have is like right here, you guys can't really see it, but um, if I just, anyways, there's like a mic on my headset that's just kind of sitting up right now. It's not really like super close to my mouth right now. Um, but I was using, I can actually just go ahead and take my, uh, I guess earbuds out. It doesn't really matter if I don't talk too loud or too quiet or something, but okay. And there we go. Let me just, uh, make sure that's, okay, that's shot. All right. Uh, yeah, my, apparently my Raycons, I don't have the filter set up in that. But anyway, so we're going to be building a mousetrap car or something. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, that's awesome. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I've already prepared some things. So I took some balloons, put them around, uh, some, like, discs for, like, extra grip, you know. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and set those off to the side while I work on some other part. So those right here. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do right now is I've got like some cardboard here and I hot glued all these layers together, cut out like the size I need. I got my mouse trap here. Um, the reason I think so burnt is because I had to like weaken the spring. Um, if I don't accidentally let this go. Um, but yeah, so I have some criteria I have to follow so it can only be like I basically 
I, 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 I can't make this part of it longer or anything. Um, I can only use 30 centimeters. No. What is it? 20 centimeters of like a stream or something. I got like some other bands I'm going to try or something. Um, and I, uh, the car itself can only be 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. We're going to go like 25. Well, no, I'm not going to go 25. What's the, let's see what one of these is. One of these is almost, yeah, it's about, it's about it's almost 12, it's like 11. So we'll go, um, like 18 centimeters probably ish or 20 centimeters and then we'll go like 18 centimeters for this so probably should have got a pencil and mark some stuff out uh, okay also you might see my cat walk in and off but i don't know um okay i don't have a lot of work but we're gonna go about about we're gonna go about Ooh, 18 centimeters then, or we'll go 19 centimeters. We'll go 18 and a half centimeters. So this will be the length of that. Okay. Then I can only be like 15 centimeters wide, maximum, by the way, maximum. So we'll see. It's about, it's like, it's literally like right at like 15. Or pretty close, like 14 and a half, so it's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll just shave off like a little bit each side. So I'm gonna come in. Well, do that bit later, I guess. I'm gonna have to shave it off. But got tape on that side, just so that way it's kind of cleaned up. So uh, we'll take off, yeah, take off like a centimeter or half a centimeter side. So we'll go right here. Then we'll go, let's see, right there. Okay, now we'll take those bits off. First things first, I'm probably, I'm actually going to try to cut the sides first, see if I can actually cut through it or not. I don't know. It's a, like, okay, well, do you have an exacto knife? But, I don't, I don't know, we'll see if I need it. I probably should have cut these before, actually, all right, you know what, we're going to cut across first, and then we can do that side, just so I don't have to cut as far. I'm really just going to try not to break the scissors. Okay. Uh, we'll see how well this is actually going to work on. I don't want to cut my table either. Um, kids, if you're doing trying this at home, uh, if you're not old enough to be using uh, like an exacto knife or something, then get a parent to do it. I don't know. I have my stream set to not be made for kids, so I don't know if I need to say things like that, but you never know. Okay, that's a lot better. I don't think I quite got through all of this though, so we'll just come through, we'll come through on this side. I hope I didn't make it through all of this. Because then if I did, it means I probably cut the table. We're almost there. I'm going to cut through this way. Come on. Okay, that's pretty close. Scissors will get the rest of it. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, that was a bit of a use of inspiration. Oh no, it is a bit of a Okay. I'll sit down for now. 
Okay. So let's see. Is this the right one that I wanted? E yep. 18 and a half centimeters. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Now we're just going to, I'm not going to measure this bit out. We're just going to put it right there. I go up there. I go up there. Let's see what it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just a little bit of room. It worked well. Oh, wait. Actually, no. I want to, I'm measuring it. I'm going to take out a full, full, uh, uh, one centimeter each, uh, each side because I want to make sure there's room for the wheels. I, like, I don't think the wheels are going to be like that thick, you know, but. Okay. Now I probably won't end up getting this entire thing done tonight, but I'm gonna get most of it done. Okay, the exacto knife worked pretty well in the last bit, so we're gonna try to get on this one. Now it's not up to the Okay, it's kinda of hitting my tape. Yeah, so I guess can hear that. Let me hit it in my table. The table I'm doing this on is the sturdiest thing in the world. I've got the, like the first layer. This is three pieces of cardboard glued together. So I'm just gonna get started with the first little bit with scissors here. And then I'm gonna see if I can get the blade in there. And if I do cut through my table, I don't know, I guess I'll be buying a new table when I. Yeah, I'm kind of scuffing up a little bit. Whatever. You can always buy a new one. Because I don't have like a like one, you know, like one of those pads that you put you put down when you're cutting with the an exacto knife to not you know ruin everything. I don't have one of those, so I should probably invest in one of those, you know. Alright, we'll give this a little go with the scissors right here for this little bit. Okay, there we are. There's that side done. I like the cleanest thing in the world. Um, I'm probably gonna like wrap these stuff in like duct tape and zip ties and stuff anyway. So, yeah, this is not. Well, I don't even know if this thing is gonna be long enough actually for how I want to do this. One goes there, one goes there. Yeah, it's plenty of space, plenty of space. And it should be long enough. We're gonna find out. I do have a backup version already made. Um, so, but for my class, this thing isn't due till Wednesday. So we're good, did I cut? No, we're good. I thought I cut myself a second there, guys. But we're good. Just, it's gracious. Oh, hey guys. Okay. I'm uh, gonna put this other bit underneath of it so it kind of acts as like a protective thing so I don't even cut my table. Okay. 
we're gonna start with the scissors and then get going with the, the knife. Okay. That's fairly straight now. Oh, okay. So there's, there's that. Okay. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Uh, that's a bit of a mess, but that's, that's really unfortunate. Okay. We'll just set that there. Okay. So there's that part. Um, now, the mouse shop's going to sit. Um, it's gonna have to sit here. So, well, roughly ish. Um, because it's gonna have to. I need to take these off. I'll take it like some yellow spines. Um, it's basically I'll cut like a little notch in here, like that. Run. I got like some. Well, I'll use pencil for demonstration, but I'm not actually using pencil. Something like that will kind of sit there, you know. A little string will come out. I'll wrap around this. Come down. Wrap around a little pencil. Let's do that notch there. And then when this thing's cranked back, I'll have more to wrap around it. And when it flings forward, it'll pull on the string, propelling it forward. Um, yeah. So, let's see. Um, right. Assuming I just go here, I can only use a 20 centimeter long little, little deal. Um, I did bring some demo floss, you know? So... <laughs> Is you never know. That this is this more of a. I need to try to close the blade so I don't hurt myself while I'm doing things. Okay. But we're gonna measure out 20 centimeters of the dental floss, and then uh, that way, just for like sizing, for like other things stuff, so I can kind of just hold it up and see. Okay, so about where my fingers are. And if it's like a tad under, it's okay. Technically, I could just, I guess, cut it on the little bit that comes with the dental floss, but it's fine. Okay. So, now that's 20 centimeter. Little length there. So, if... They were to be wrapped and say tied around this end. Let me just give it a little a little tie around. Oops, a little tie around here. That way I can kind of see about how much I have what I'm working with here. I keep touching the mouse track bit. Okay, that's a lot of excess. My hands are getting so dirty. I should have brought it back down. And I'm wearing a white shirt, guys. Life is great. Life is great. Okay. But anyways. Um, yep. So. There's that. So. That should work pretty nicely, actually. Um, yeah. That'll work. Let me just. Kind of size out where the notch is going to go. 
So the notch for this then would be about right there. I don't know if you guys can see, but the notch is going to be about something. Oops, sorry, my bad, guys. It's going to be about right there. You can kind of see a little pencil in a bit. Nothing too crazy, nothing crazy perfect or anything by any means. I could make it perfect, I guess. Um, how long did I about make this square? I guess about like six and a half centimeters. This thing is oh, about. 12 centimeters long, minus six and a half, that'd be five and a half, so then we'd have to go 2.75 on each side. Uh, technically, if we want to get this to be exact, um, right, yeah, so we'll go like uh, five, seven, five, yep, yeah, sure, so that's like about there, and then flip around to the other side. Five, six, seven, five, about right there. All right, perfect. And I'll just draw down the line I already have. I mean, that was, that was pretty darn close. Let's just say that. I eyeballed it pretty nicely. I was only off, I think, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 centimeters, so. Not too shammy, but I do say so myself. You can kind of see the new outline once the more straight line there, and the more straight line there on the inside, so that's like the difference. I'll put it on my head. So. We'll bring up this little work station here. And I'll just uh, cut there. Do a little far. Cut there. Cut there. Cut. Okay, well, <sighs> oops. Trust me, guys, I'm a professional. Okay, I can kind of start seeing it on the other side. This blade's a little dull. I have to kind of like poke in and out as I go around. I can't just go like all straight through. I have to kind of like stab at it a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. That is a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm gonna have to vacuum through here. Great one sec, guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to vacuum through here, definitely. Uh, not tonight, though. Tomorrow. But anyways, so there's my little notch in the in the back, so that's not too bad. My X build now, actually no, never. Okay. Okay, so there's that pretty much done. So then the plan. Let me show you guys the next little bit. I bought these straws. I only need two of them, but they only came in packs of hundred, so we have a we have a hundred of them, I guess. Um, yeah. I thought, and I was just going to go to like a convenience store, um, like, a, like a gas station, you know, and like just pick up, like just snag some of their straws, um, but because coffee straws, well, actually they might have been a little too small, but, um, you know what, we'll do a couple blue ones, do a couple blue ones, I bought a hundred of these, I can use whatever color I want, you know what I'm saying? Um, the only thing with these ones is they have like this little bit on them, you know, for like the bending part because they're bendy straws. Um, so I have to like, I'm gonna like trim it like here or something, and then hopefully, and then it should be long enough, I think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go. A little trim. Oh, I probably should have cut both at the same time. It doesn't need to be exact. I don't really care. Alright, we can put them level on the table top and then we can just trim it. Ta da! Uh, now they're pretty darn close. Yeah, they're about spot on. Okay, anyways. Um, so, so essentially what we're doing is just going to take them and super glue them to here. Well, the back's going to be a little different. Um, I'm going to probably end up, what I'll do is I'm probably going to end up cutting out like this part of the straw there, like there and there. That way it's only this part on this side and the part on the other side there. That way it's the skewer that's in the middle. And then, um, yeah, we'll do that. Probably should have brought like a Sharpie down with me or something, but it's okay. Right. right there and there, sure. Whoops, there's that, okay, so, um, okay, so the plan is I, um, tape it on here, well, not tape it, but I'm going to tape it for now, I'm just going to show you, tape it on there, Skew runs through, and then I kind of go where I'm actually gonna get a little bit of duct tape out, tape it on there just to kind of like you know hold on in place for little mock ups so I can kind of tell how I'm gonna do it. Well, 
Oh. Well, I guess the glue is kind of coming off, so I'll have to fix that. Uh, that's lovely. Sure, that's pretty close to being lined up. All the cutting on it probably weakened the glue and stuff. As I've said before, I am a professional. Okay. So there's uh there's that. Duct tape for the wind must go as let's go. Skewer, I was obviously need to get cut down to size as well, but basically something like that. See what I'm saying? And then it'll kind of spin inside there. Um yep. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that one. Um, and then the one in the front part, that one doesn't really matter as much. It can just kind of chill. Um, we'll go ahead and slap on, tape it on there. Well, here, there's one there. And then we'll just What we'll do another little square. We'll slap that on right here. I do have super glue as well, um, that I'll probably end up using. For a little extra durability, this is more just a temporary, uh, temporary solution. Um, that way I can kind of just like see how it's going to work and like still move it around. Uh, but then as you know, I've got a skewer here. Uh, take this. Slide it on, on through. And it'll, it'll, it'll spin inside there. It's a little loose and stuff, you know, because of like the size and whatnot, but I mean, it gets the job done, so yeah. But there's that, and if we measure from that's in inches, we want to send it go from about there to oh, yeah, even if we go like here to like screw that, we're not even close to the 15. Well, I mean, we're kind of close, we still have like 1.5 centimeters. Um, and by the time I add a little bit of the cardboard on and the disc, we'll be like right in there. Um, so, you know, and I can always just like, you know, do a little trim, trim, trim on one of the sides or something, you know, call it a day, but it's not too bad. We push up the body of the car built. Um, the only thing really to do next would be just to like strap the mouse trap. 
under the car. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to take this off quick. So I'm going to go grab my needle nose. I'll be right back. Back to work. All right. Got the pair of needle nose. I'm just gonna. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just taking uh, this little part, and you can kind of see it. And then I'm gonna bend it, and then pull it off. Hopefully, I can actually get these in there. These aren't the smallest needle nose pliers in the world. I'm trying not to touch up a lot of the mouse trap because otherwise I'm going to get black all over my hands. Dang it. There's that part out. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll use this a little bit. I was gonna like. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna take like a paperclip bit or something, cut the paperclip, or, or and then like um, super glue it onto here, like the middle, so it kind of like has a lip that sticks up, and then I can like wrap like a rubber band like through it easier. But if we look on this, this thing kind of already has a little bit of a loop or whatever on it. So I might be able to just like cut that off or something and slip it through there and use that instead. But paper clip would work too if it's going to be touch a hassle to get that off. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and. Well, actually, I was going to attach this right now, but because I haven't done the wheels yet, I don't really want to do that. Because if I touch this, like, I just get a bunch of stuff all over my fingers, so, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to go ahead and end the stream there tonight, guys. It's getting kind of late for me, so I have to clean all this stuff up, and I really want to get some sleep tonight. So, I'd like to thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. Um, once I get, like, my homework and stuff, you know, kind of done and everything. Uh, this week's pretty busy. Then on the regular streams will be out. I just kind of had to do this um, to get this done. I might end up having to stream this again tomorrow night. We will see. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next stream.